uh, though I have joined only for like three weeks, it's only been three weeks, and I believe I have learned a lot of new things from here. So, 30 to 40 minutes only for one question explains the concept like in really uh, clear manner. And that is also, the doubt solving is really quick. I really liked his lecture. So, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Success Stories with Programming Patshala. Uh, my name is Akansha and today we have very talented Akash with us. So Akash has just gotten placed at Pesa Bazaar as SDE after working in the automation domain at Cognizant. And he has lots of tips and tricks and all of his interview experience to share with us. So let's get into the video and watch it. Akash, uh, let's begin with the introduction. Sure. So I have graduated in computer science in 2020. And after that, I've started working in Cognizant as an automation uh, developer. So it, it was a basically a production role. Hmm. So after that, I've been trying to switch to a product-based company into a developer's role where that's when, uh, when I started, I got landed somewhere between at the programming partial. So they helped me to do that. Great, great, great. Akash, so you're finally, you're on your way to join Pesa Bazaar. When are you joining? Um, I have actually joined the company. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. You have joined. So how does it feel now? How's the environment? How's your new colleagues? How's the feeling in total? The work, the work culture there is really great. Uh, although my team members are, uh, uh, all of them are mostly 2020 grads, but uh, some of the senior members are really helpful and uh, they have taught me a lot of things because before that I wasn't even in the development role. Okay. So this is my first time being a developer in the backend uh, Node.js platform. So they're helping, uh, helping a lot. And uh, uh, I have learned a few things, although I have joined only for like three weeks, it's only been three weeks. And I believe I have learned a lot of new things over here. Great. Yeah, great. So Akash, can you take us through your journey to Pesa Bazaar, like from your resumes to you applying there, then the interview process and everything? So I started applying for the companies in around uh, February. So uh, I quit my job because I wasn't really liking it very much. And it was because of the work location also. So I started looking for the job uh, in February. I started applying to a bunch of companies, gave some interviews, cleared some rounds. And uh, I didn't like some companies, but finally, uh, like uh, I, I got some hints from Anu Bhayal to like uh, make my resume better. And Bharat Bhai also helped me in that. Mm -hmm. So I made the resume according to them. And then they showed me like, then they uh, reviewed my resume and they said that it's fine. Now it should do the job. Then uh, it, the resume should get shortlisted after that. Okay. So uh, I applied to Pesa Bazaar. They shortlisted my resume. The first round was the coding round. Mm -hmm. uh, it was some DSA questions and uh, some aptitude questions. So after clearing that round, there were two technical rounds and one managerial round. Okay. So in the technical first round, they asked a bunch of DSA questions and some questions related to development, like what is Node.js, what are middlewares, something like that. Okay. And in the second technical round, they went deep into my projects and mm -hmm. uh, like asked me some question related to GitHub, like uh, which platform do you use and something like that. Right. And after that, there, it was only the HR round. Great. So how was your ex interview experience? Asan laga aapko ki difficult tha. Asan to uh, first round easy tha, comparatively hmm. uh, because it was only the DSA and I prepared well for the DSA, but I didn't really prepare well for the development part. Hmm. Second round, uh, thoda mushkil tha. Okay. Hmm. Take care. Why that was the final, almost final round for your selection. Yeah. Take care. Take care. So Akash, uh, how were your views on the course Ranaisa here? How did you feel the course served your purpose of, you know, being placed at Pesa Bazaar? Okay. So I was doing DS a bit before joining the programming part Shada, huh. but uh, it was not like, uh, I didn't went very deep into the concept. Like uh, here at programming part Shada, each video, uh, like the Vivek's video are like for 30 to 40 minutes each. And it, in that video, he only covers one question. So 30 to 40 minutes only for one question explains the concept like in really uh, clear manner. And he also explains the mathematics behind uh, every question in which it is needed. So mm -hmm. logically, uh, like learning things logically happened in programming partial only before I, uh, before I was not a part of the programming partial, I just was watching YouTube 
and some uh, youtubers were like do this do that and uh, you'll clear the coding rounds but uh, didn't really tell uh, how the coding questions like really works like uh, what are the concepts behind the problems right 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 that is that is given much importance here to you know clarity with the concepts for the students that is also the doubt solving is really quick like you can post the question in the discussion forum and it resolves like in 15 to 20 minutes so <laughs> it was really nice amazing yeah amazing so good to hear that okay so akash you have been a part of programming parshala since a long time so is there any koi na koi to zyada favorite hua hoga somebody would have been your like you know your go to person here so who has been your favorite at programming parshala my favorite from starting was vivek sir because i really liked his lectures so yeah uh, and i talked to both vivek sir and anup sir but uh, so whenever i have some query regarding the data structures problem or whenever i am feeling down or not motivated like mere se nahi ho raha hai i am not able to do the questions i am not able to do hard questions i have asked uh, this thing vivek to vivek be a lot of time that i am not able to do the hard questions he said don't worry just take your time start from the beginning start from the, watching the video again uh, just do the easy questions a lot of easy questions then a medium questions and then try the hard questions again so it really helps me like when someone is trusting you to that uh, you will be able to solve the hard questions and anup bhaiya like said to me once directly don't worry you'll crack amazon so <laughs> i think that's that's really helpful when someone really believes you in uh, exactly. that's the motivation you. like you know you yeah. feel like to so, ab motivation pe aaye gaye hain so you know in this journey there are many candidates who do lose hope sometimes kisi ko force डिफिकल्ट लगता है किसी के फैमिली सर्कमस्टांसेस हो जाते हैं और समटाइम्स समवन जस्ट लैक्स द एनर्जी टू गो फॉरवर्ड विद द कोर्स सो ऐसा कभी नहीं हुआ दैट यू लेफ्ट द कोर्स और समथिंग और हाउ इट हैपेंड हाउ व्हाट कैन यू डू इट इट हैपेंड मेनी टाइम्स दैट आई डिडंट वॉच अ वीडियो फॉर अ कपल ऑफ वीक्स और आई डिडंट इवन सॉल्व अ सिंगल डीएसए क्वेश्चन ऑन अ डे और फॉर लाइक अ वीक और टू बट इन द एंड व्हाट always helped me is that like uh, if i am able to get into a product based company or a good company at this stage of my career like at an early stage of my career then uh, i do not have to worry about anything in the future okay so because of that uh, like even if i lack some time like for a for a week or two then i was some uh, like to get back into the to get back into the <clears throat> course of uh, course of programming partial i watch some random videos of uh, uh, random videos of dsa on youtube okay. and uh, <clears throat> like some vloggers i watched some vloggers who like for the like the day in life in amazon or day in life in google so that really helps me that uh, okay so he is enjoying his life a lot okay so let me get back to the <laughs> programming and i went back to the course exactly. and also i uh, when whenever something like this happens i just uh, remind myself that i have done a lot like from the beginning i have done a lot if i quit now then it will be uh, all of it will go to waste exactly so yeah exactly i strongly believe that you know you need to brush up yourselves always ki yaar kiske liye i came into the course and you know why do i am why am i here what what is expected yeah. of me yeah And that's when you get back on track but that's really amazing akash uh thank you so much it has been lovely having a word with you akash before you leave any word of advice for your fellow sds those who are preparing as of now okay um so like even if you are starting or like you feel like you have given 3 or 4 or 6 months to the course but you haven't gotten to a point where you are supposed to be so you do not have to feel low at that time Yeah. so just being consistent is the just being consistent is the really biggest thing that you can do like solve only one question a day True. one question a day uh, for like a month you will you, you will see that you have solved 30 medium questions and it's not like that you will only solve one question when you start like when you start to solve the question and they are getting solved then you get excited and try more and more questions exactly so just just do even one question for a day or one video for a day then it will be fine Great, great, great.